Welcome to AG Chelsea TV. This is the YouTube channel that will bring Chelsea fans the latest news of the club in our hearts. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me. Chelsea agree £23.5 million midfielder transfer. Chelsea have reportedly agreed a £23.5 million deal to sign 19-year-old midfielder Leslie Ugarku from Stard Ren. Talks have accelerated quickly for the teenage talent who is set to undergo a medical in the next 24 hours ahead of his proposed switch to Stamford Bridge. Mauricio Pochettino has been crying out for midfield reinforcements following the departures of Matteo Kovacic, Mason Mount and N'Golo Kante and now a new arrival appears to be imminent. However, there is still a strong likelihood the Frenchman could be heading back to League One next season for a loan spell with Chelsea's sister club Strasbourg, according to The Athletic. Chelsea have now reached an agreement on a fee with Rennes after deciding to launch a move in the past few days. It's understood Yugaku has already agreed personal terms and will sign a long-term contract at Stamford Bridge. Yugaku featured 26 times in the French top flight last season and is the latest talent off the Rennes conveyor belt. The French club boast a fine record of developing young gems and now they are set for another sizable payday. He will become the fifth new face through the door in West London following the arrivals of Christopher Nkunku, Nicholas Jackson, Angelo and Diego Moreira. But Pochettino is still hungry for more signings and more specifically, players that can immediately be thrust into his squad and starting 11. Chelsea could soon agree personal terms with Arsenal target, Chelsea are reportedly closing in on an agreement on personal terms with Crystal Palace midfielder Michael Olyes, a target for Arsenal, Michael Olyes has been linked with a move to Arsenal as well. But Ben Jacobs has told Give Me Sport that Chelsea are very close to agreeing personal terms with the Crystal Palace midfielder. The French youth international has a £35 million release clause in his contract, Jacobs told Give Me Sport, there is genuine interest. Crystal Palace don't want to sell, but Olyse is very close to agreeing terms with Chelsea. Obviously, players can agree terms have multiple clubs, so the most important thing in all of this is whether a deal can be reached with Crystal Palace. But he is a very concrete option for Chelsea. Therefore, he is one to watch over the coming weeks. Olyse is valued at £35 million. But Crystal Palace are trying to agree a new deal with the French youth international to get rid of the release clause. Meanwhile, Chelsea certainly have the financial resources to pay up. It remains to be seen whether the Blues can fend off the competition from Arsenal and sign the player. The 21-year-old operates as the right-sided winger and he had an impressive campaign with Crystal Palace last year. The talented young midfielder picked up two goals and 11 assists across all competitions, and Chelsea could certainly use his attacking qualities next season. However, he plays a similar role to that of Noni Maduk, and it will be interesting to see how his arrival affects the game time of the January signing. Maduk will be hoping to play regularly at Stamford Bridge next season. The former PSV Eindhoven player is highly rated in England, and he has a big future ahead of him. He will not want to sit on the bench at Stamford Bridge next year. If Chelsea ends up signing Olyse, Mauricio Pochettino must ensure that both players get ample game time. Olyse is a prodigious talent with a bright future ahead of him, and he has the attributes to develop into a top-class Premier League attacker. He is versatile enough to operate as the central attacking midfielder as well. Chelsea have already parted ways with Mason Mount, while Hakim Ziyech has been linked with a move away from the club. The Blues need to add more depth and quality to their attack if they want to get back into the Champions League and compete for trophies. Someone like Olyse should be able to make an immediate impact at Stamford Bridge, he is well settled in the Premier League and he will look to hit the ground running. The opportunity to play for Chelsea will be an attractive option for the player, and it remains to be seen whether the two clubs can secure an agreement now. For now, an agreement on personal terms seems close with the Arsenal target. Chelsea could sign PSG Megastar on loan this summer, Chelsea could acquire the services of Kylian Mbappé on loan from Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, in the ongoing transfer window, according to iNews, at tipfootball.london. As things stand, the 24-year-old is expected to part ways with the Parc des Princes side in the coming weeks. To that end, the Blues have been linked with getting a hold of the France international signature on a temporary move this summer. Saudi Pro League outfit Al Hilal were interested in signing Mbappé. However, the forward has rejected a move to the Middle Eastern country. PSG got the French national from AS Monaco in the summer of 2017. Since then, the 24-year-old has grown from strength to strength and has become one of the best players in the world. Mbappe's pace and prolificity make him a deadly attacker. He has showcased a keen eye to find the back of the net at the Parisians. 
In the previous campaign, the French national scored 41 goals and provided 10 assists in 43 appearances in all competitions for the Ligue 1 outfit, the 24-year-old already has a World Cup trophy to his name. The forward was close to adding another one to his cabinet in Qatar. But Les Blue lost to Argentina on penalties in the final. Over the years, Chelsea have struggled to find the back of the net on a consistent basis. The likes of Kai Havertz, Romelu Lukaku and Timo Werner have failed to provide a solution to our struggles. During pre-season, Mauricio Pochettino has relied on Nicolas Jackson and Christopher Nkunku to prove goals. The two have done a decent job so far. However, they are not known for their goal-scoring prowess. Chelsea, Mateus Franco approach, not ruled out, Chelsea making a late transfer approach for Flamengo attacking midfielder Mateus Franca this summer is not ruled out, according to reliable journalist Ryan Taylor. Since graduating from his club's academy to get promoted to the senior fold back in January 2022, Franca has clocked up a total of 54 first-team appearances at the Maracana Stadium. And Jorge Sampaoli's side are in a very good position to retain his services, the Brazil U20. International's contract doesn't expire for another four years meaning, that the Serie A outfit have every right to demand a hefty fee in order to sanction his sale, but this doesn't seem to have stopped Todd Berhley and Mauricio Pochettino from showing an interest. Speaking to Give Me Sport, Italian reporter Fabrizio Romano previously claimed that the Blues have really appreciated and been following the 19-year-old for a long time, but have never actually taken their admiration one step further, though that has seemingly now changed. Taking to Twitter, Taylor revealed that Chelsea are still open and considering making an official move for Franca, but it's Premier League rivals Crystal Palace who are currently ahead in the race for his signature. He wrote, Crystal Palace set to up offer for Flamengo attacker Mateus Franca. Chelsea approach not ruled out, but interest has gone quiet since club-to-club -club meetings earlier this month. Expanding in his column for the Daily Express. The reporter claimed that the SW6 side held formal discussions regarding a swoop for their target in recent weeks, but Roy Hodgson's team are, at this stage, showing more intent for the pound 21M, valued star. Since the start of his career and indeed his time at Flamengo, Franca has posted 14 goal contributions, 11 goals and 3 assists, in 59 matches, which is a promising return for an up-and-coming teenager, so should the attacking midfielder put pen to paper, he could be an exciting acquisition for Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. The Rio de Janeiro native currently ranks in the 99th percentile for most successful take ONS and is averaging 1.9 shots per league game compared to those playing at a similar level, showing that he loves to dribble past his marker and take aim at the net, making him a dangerous threat for the opposition's defence to deal with, Flamengo's big talent, as hailed by football scout Jocek Kulik would also provide Pochettino with wonderful versatility having played in six various positions on the pitch since first bursting onto the scene, including across the front line and two roles in the midfield, making him a great option to have available. Franca has also already had a small taste of success having secured two pieces of silverware with his boyhood club, and if he was to join a team with a history of trophies like the Blues, his desire to win more would surely only increase, with this potential fire and fighting spirit making him an ideal recruit. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.